Sue, as you know, uh, your back garden is very small and very limited in size, and I'm just going to present one concept to you because I think this is a good way to go. What I've done is I've moved the spa from one corner to the other. I've made all the fences, uh, pool fence compliant. I brought the barbecue up there. I've given you a little bit of an outdoor seat opposite the back door there. Uh, I really want to get in a, a dining table and chairs and a little bit of an umbrella so that you can sit in the shade when required and then steps down into that back corner where the garage comes out so that at least the dogs have somewhere to go. I want to go from house to boundary with decking. Now in doing that, what we have to do is build a fireproof wall between the deck and the boundary. So this wall is going to be lightweight, hebel, and then I'm going to decorate it with these decorative panels. And these decorative panels, we can do these in a light box so we can um, light them. Now, these can be super cheap. You can get these from Bunnings, they're, they're, they're cheap. You can get expensive ones. And as for patterns, we can get all sorts of different patterns. So don't get too hung up on the, um, the flowers that I've chosen here. So here's the, the dining table. I want to move this out opposite the, um, the kitchen. One of those other lighting effects we could do is up lighting in the deck, which will also make that wall look really stunning. Looking out from the kitchen, looking out from the, from the, um, the meals area, looking out onto, across the deck to the, to the wall there. Now it sits at 1.8 meters in height. Uh, above the deck which is perfect for us and then um, over near the spa we've also got to make sure that it's pool fence compliant so 1.8 meters above the structure 900 mil of non-climbable zone which I've achieved everywhere so I've put the barbecue up there the clothesline but what I'm simply going to do is just lift that up once the deck comes up and then in this corner here um, you can see the rendered walls now I'll, I'll talk to you about some options about the rendered walls but I put the spa in here giving you access still around to the side put a pull fence into the side now that's all services down that area there and um, that's where the equipment can go and um, I think the best solution there is just to really just to, to concrete that that out and there's a couple of steps down there so let me know what you think of this design I, I think it's good it's um, I think it's affordable and um, and it's going to make a really nice spot to um, to sit